decade or century would you rather be a father in? No, I'd, I'd rather be a father today. Right. I mean, infant mortality, typhus, cholera, diphtheria. Uh, I mean, it was war, right? I mean, I sure as hell wouldn't want to be a father in the late 19th century with World War I about to draft kids, right? Right. Or World War II or Vietnam or you name it, right? So I will make um, – I don't think I need to make a very strong case, but I think that the strongest case to be made is that this is – out of all the times in human history, the very best time to be alive. Now, 500 years from now, okay, yeah, fine. But that's not really a choice we have at the moment, right? Neither is there, of course, a choice to live in the past. But there is no better time to be alive. Statistically, factually, there is no better time to be alive. And it's hard to feel hard done by when you have won the time lottery of the last 4 billion years. Right? We have won the time lottery of the last 4 billion years. 20 years ago, I probably would have been dead last year. We have won the time lottery of the past 4 billion years. Of course, there's work to be done. Of course, there's things that need to be improved. But we do not live in a theocracy. We do not live in a dictatorship. We do not live in a time of famine or plague or pestilence or war. There are not bombs dropping on us. My mother was born in Germany, in Dresden, oh, in Berlin, but she then grew up in Dresden. In 1937, with a Jewish background, that is not winning the lottery of the last 4,000 years, right? Or 4 billion years. But we in the West, we in the free world, we with all of these tools and these capacities and the, the, the ability to bypass the gatekeepers and bring a message to mankind that has literally been suppressed for 100,000 years, the message of peace and reason and freedom and cooperation and voluntarism, we have an unprecedented capacity to bring our message to humanity. Finally, Finally, after a hundred thousand years, we have an even playing field between reason and illusion because the gatekeepers always keep reason at bay and direct communication is where reason connects to people. And you and I can have this conversation and there's no, no one in the way. And people can listen to this conversation for free virtually throughout the world with no one in the way. If I can't be happy for that opportunity, then I have a standard for happiness that will render me permanently miserable. 